Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, it says, Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies or with the wine which he drank. For Daniel, this really set the course of his life. He purposed in his heart not to eat at the king's table. Well, why was that? Because first of all, the meat was not kosher. There was probably all kinds of creepy, crawly delicacies and, and, and animals all over the place. Definitely not kosher stuff. You see, earlier Israel had been conquered by Nebuchadnezzar. It had been conquered by Babylon. And so Daniel had been taken in captive and he had been taken into the king's palace and he had been made a eunuch. And so what that required was an education in the Babylonian customs. It required a fashion makeover. It required a food makeover and also the mutilation of Daniel himself. You see, Daniel, he's there. And so he's probably saying, yeah, I'll go to your classes. I'm going to ace all of your classes. You have taken my parents. You have taken my home. You have taken my manhood. You've taken everything from me, but you cannot take my God. This is a 14-year-old. A 14-year-old, he would not defile himself. It, it wasn't kosher. It was, this meat was always dedicated toward idolatry. Anything with blood in it had an idol worship connected to it. And so Daniel's choice was, I am not going to partake. Everyone and everything around him is saying, be one of us. But Daniel, he purposed in his heart. Now, that Hebrew word for purpose, it means to pull together. It means to compile. It means, it means in the middle of great pressure that Daniel sat alone, most likely praying there, and he pulled himself together and he compiled his resolve. Already that relationship with God was very, very strong. 14 years old, he said, Lord, I have been held captive in Babylon. My mom and dad are gone. Jerusalem is gone. The place that I worship is gone. You see, Babylon dwarfs Jerusalem. I'm in the presence of great power. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Israel, or the king of Babylon, that is. He is the greatest king on planet Earth. He cuts people into little pieces for looking at them wrong. So somehow, in the midst of that, Daniel has compiled, he has pulled together his Resolve, Lord, everything has been ripped from me. But he was able to gather himself. He said, everything's been taken from me, but they will not take this one thing. I will not defile himself. And so for us, whether we're 14 years old or 84 years old, even though the world may desire to take everything that's good away from us, if we purpose in our hearts like Daniel purposed in his heart, listen, it can never never take our relationship with God away from us. It may take our relationships. It may take our news outlet. It may take our um, politics away from us. It may tragically even take a family member away from us. It says in the end times that father will rise up against son and son against daughter. And you know, these things. The world wants everything, even your relationship with God. And so let's purpose. Let's Resolve. Let's pull in close, compile what's important to us. And whether it's the enemy, whether it's our own flesh, whether it's the world, let's not defile ourselves of this world, in this world, but let's give ourselves up to the holiness of God's presence in our lives.